Hey, it's the after show. Thanks so much for supporting me. Huge thanks. You guys helped me get hold of these stupid things like this. Uh, so it really is a privilege of being able to play with it. So today's theme is like high audio kind of stuff. So what I wanted to do was to show you how I test bits of my audio equipment in my studio room uh, whenever I make any changes. And uh, it's all inspired by Techmoan. He got me onto oscilloscope music. And our hero James actually gave me an oscilloscope years ago, been sitting in the rain and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to show you my fun way of checking audio. Uh, the audio is going to get uh, a little bit different because I'm not going to be using my microphone. We're just going to be using the iPhone's mic because we're going to be in a room with lots of audio. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you there. Whoa. Welcome to the Dank and Dark studio room. This is where all the work kind of happens. Look, there's Frank. Get a job, Frank. I'm telling you, get a job already. But here is my battle rig and up here is a fun toy. So this is an oscilloscope. So I use it so we can smell audio. How cool is that? So mine's a bit cranky. This actually came from James, the legend. Uh, this has gone a little bit crooked uh, and the signal's a little bit all over the place. Normally these need to be calibrated. This never has. I even brought it home on the back of the motorbike. <laughs> what I want to show you is something super cool. And if you watch Tech Moan, then you've probably already seen it. So I'm going to I'm going to play that track again, but I'm going to change the setting. So this is what music looks like on this setting. Just like a whatever squiggle and blah, 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 blah. Jerobeam Fenderson makes oscilloscope music where the sound turns into video on these. So I'm going to change this setting back again. I'm going to press play, but then I'm going to flick this over and you'll see what this does. with the sound. So now I'm going to press play on the other thing. Same settings. So cool. So what does it have to do with testing audio? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty simple kind of guy when it comes to this sort of stuff. But what I found was when I was using a splitter so that you can see it and hear it at the same time, a cheap splitter wouldn't work. If you know what sounded fine, it wouldn't work. And that got me thinking like, right, you know, the ability to actually show video, even though this doesn't do it very well because it's all uncalibrated, that's actually a bit of a sign of audio quality. So anytime I make a change, like for instance, plugged in my little Yamaha desk, I did the video test. And yeah, if it passed with flying colors, it was all excellent. So something I like to do in the future is line up all the iPods, cheap knockoffs, all sorts, and the C if they have any issues showing video or maybe like weird accessories that send signal through cables or something. But before I can do that, I need to get a better one of these because this one just wouldn't really, you know, I want to see fine problems and details where this already has fine problems and details. So naturally, this guy works perfectly fine through this. I mean, as you'd expect. And I've definitely got plans on testing the sound quality of all the different iPods. Now that I've actually got a benchmark like this guy down here, that really helps. But, you know, super cool. I love this oscilloscope and, you know, I can't wait to get a, a slightly better one. This is a pretty cheap one. But thanks so much for supporting me. Heaps of fits to come. And I'll, uh, I'll uh, see you all next time, yeah.